don't spend the $100 bills that you see in this video now. I get it. 100 bucks, it's a lot of money. But the banknotes that you see in this video sold for a lot more money than just $100. In this video, we're going to break down everything you need to know, how to sell your banknotes online or in person for the most money possible, how to avoid scams, and really what to look for on your $100 bills before you spend them. Without any further ado, let's hop into this video with a 1996 $100 bill. They call this the Big Face Benjamin because his face is so large on this bill. This banknote was graded by a company called Paper Money Guarantee at a 65 EPQ. PMG and PCGS are the best grading companies when it comes to grading your paper money. Now on the grading scale, 70 is the highest. This one got the 65 grade. Now listen, the reason why I'm telling you all this is because the condition of your bill is so important. As soon as there's a fold anywhere that goes into the design of the banknote, the value is going to drop significantly. Do not handle your banknotes roughly. Don't fold them. Don't do anything that would reduce their value or condition. It seems obvious, but you would be surprised what I see. The reason this got a 65 is because the centering is not good. If you look at the left and right margin, you can see the right margin small and the left margin is large. If they were better centered, this bill would have sold for a lot more money. But this is a star note. More on that a bit later, but this bill sold for 139 bucks. This one sold for more, and you can see the condition is not as good. There's a bit of ink loss in the center, and the grade is a about uncirculated 50. That means there are folds on this bill. Now it's important to know that there's a small tear on this banknote as well. There's a negative comment on the back of the holder. It's also important to note that the back of the bill is actually the first print when it comes to printing paper money. The front of the bill is the second print, and the third and final print when it comes to printing paper money is that overprint which you see on this bill is misaligned. So the overprint is misaligned to the left, and that is why this $100 bill sold for $204 even if it's not in that good of condition. Here's a newer 2017A $100 bill that was miscut, and someone turned a $100 bill into $312. That's a lot of money for a bill. Only going up in value here, $444. This 1996 $100 bill sold for. Now I want you to pause the video and tell me down in the comments below if you see what's happening here. Why did the bill sell for so much money? It is on the front of the bill. Now I want you to type out what you see, and if you don't see it after I show you, go ahead and type in the comments below, I learned something today. All right, so here is the answer. If you're looking on the left-hand side of the bill, you'll see a black seal. And on the right, there is typically a treasury seal there, which is green. So this banknote is completely missing the treasury overprint. Once again, this $100 bill sold for $444. Now here we have a pack of 20 notes. So there's a face value of $2,000, and this is a pack of consecutive star notes. So consecutive means that the serial numbers are running in a row. So the last two digits will go 59, 60, 61, 62, etc. Really, really cool. And this is a brand new pack, right? It's a 2017A pack. So in the world of paper money, this is relatively brand new. Now someone went to the bank, got this pack, and was able to sell it online for 2520 bucks. So they made $520 on this pack here. Very cool. $3,360 for this 2013 $100 bill. Now the biggest factor here, quite honestly, is going to be that serial number. It's a serial number two. Now there's only one other serial number that is more popular and sought after than this one, and that's the serial number one. But because the serial number two graded so highly by PMG, it's over $3,360. Now starting on the back of this bill, it sold for $15,600. I do want to show you the back plate number. It is an important area to show you here because it can matter on certain banknotes. So that number you see on the back is called a back plate number. Now a back plate number is an internal number used by the BEP where they print paper money to see where a specific bill is located on a printing plate. Now if the size of that is different than the size on the front, it could mean you have a mule note. So let's look on the front of the bill at the top left plate position. You'll see an FW large letter A and then a number. So the large letter A doesn't really matter and the number doesn't really matter, but let's look at the FW before that plate position. That FW means that this bill was struck at the Fort Worth, Texas facility. If your banknote does not have an FW anywhere on it, that means it was printed at the Washington DC facility. So looking back at the plate position on the front, that number, if the size of that number is different than the size on the back, that could mean you have a mule note. Also, when it comes to the Fort Worth and Washington DC thing, depending on which facility your banknote was printed at, there could be a value difference there. But this banknote, it does not matter. What does matter is that serial number one we were talking about. That's the biggest value add on this Fort Worth printed banknote. Serial number one, really highly sought after, $15,600 it sold for. So this banknote 
it sold for $750,000. It's a genuine 100 bill from the United States of America. It's an 1882 gold certificate, large size paper money bill. So back in the day, you can see there, it says gold coin. You could have traded this bill in for gold coin back in the day. Most people don't even think this bill is legitimate, but you can see once again, PMG graded this banknote at a very fine 30. So this bill is out there in the late 1800s, crossing people's hands into the early 1900s before someone stowed it away into their collection. Later on, they were able to sell it for three quarters of a million dollars, $750,000 for this gold certificate bill. Now, if you have anything really rare, like you saw in this video, you want to contact a rare paper money expert. And before you do that, make sure to learn more about coins and paper money down below with our completely free coin and currency ebook. You don't want to miss out on that book. It is completely free. We will see you in the next video.